once seen as a top contender. After an unconvincing result in Iowa, Ron DeSantis has been forced to pull the pin. I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. This is an NBC News special report. The announcement sending shockwaves through the political world. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis just announcing that he will drop out of the race. Once viewed as the future of the Republican Party, his war on woke strategy wasn't able to pull voters away from Donald Trump. And despite months of ridicule... 10% for Ron de Sanctimonious and 7% for Birdbrand. He tepidly endorsed his former competitor. Trump is superior to the current incumbent, Joe Biden. That is clear. It caps a remarkable fall in fortunes. Just a year ago, DeSantis led several head-to-head -head polls against Trump. I think that was a very smart move. I like DeSantis, but uh, he's not Donald Trump. Trump will get those votes, and Nikki Haley's, she's done. We just got some word that one of our opponents, very capable person, is dropping out. The race, Ron DeSantis. And Ron is dropping out, and he, in doing so, he endorsed us. Even before this endorsement, Donald Trump was well ahead in the polls. But Nikki Haley is trying to convince voters she's a safer bet than her former boss. Chaos follows him. You know I'm right. Chaos follows him. And we can't have a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. Two days from now, we're going to win New Hampshire and then we're going to defeat crooked Joe Biden. And we are going to, in fact, make America great again. There's effectively two competitors left in this Republican race. And in less than two days, New Hampshire chooses between them. Donald Trump is trying to see off his final competitor, while Nikki Haley is hoping for an upset to extend this battle. But even if she can buy some more time, Donald Trump is the overwhelming favourite to take on Joe Biden at the November general election. Carrington Clark, ABC News, Manchester, New Hampshire.